Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm working on my book companion journal, which I think is the perfect tool for NaNoWriMo. So stick around because you're going to be so inspired today. So for this creative project, I decided to bring things over to my coffee table instead of working in the office. I think sometimes it's good to just move yourself around. Of course, I brought my candle, I brought my cup full of pens and highlighters, and I brought all my journals. So this video initially was going to be really long. As you can see there, I have a bunch of my planners and I was going to do a whole plan with me, but I decided to just focus on the book companion journal so that you guys can get the best out of it, especially for NaNoWriMo, and that you get to see exactly how I use it and how you can use it to um, follow along with your writing journey while you're writing your book for NaNoWriMo. And before I get started, I needed to set the mood, so I lit a candle, of course. And then I proceeded to, I have these mantra cards that I really love to use before I get started on anything that I do. So I wanted to pick some out and just really set the mood and get myself in the right space while I worked on my book companion journal. Um, this deck that I'm using right now is by Gabby Bernstein. It's called The Universe Has Your Back, and it's my favorite one and I loved picking a card throughout the day sometimes usually just in the morning but sometimes if I'm feeling a certain way I try to pick a card and see what God is trying to tell me at that time so that was the universe has your back deck now I'm using another deck which is called moonology and I also love this deck if you guys are interested in these decks I will leave it in the description box below for you guys to go ahead and you know go to Amazon and buy them I love this deck you guys it's it's all about the moon phases so you guys probably know how I feel about that so what do you need to release was what I got the next thing I'm doing is again setting the mood I am listening to total meditation by Deepak Chopra so I wanted to set that audiobook on while I started working on the journal in case you guys don't know what the book companion journal is it is a journal that I created for writers so that they have a place to keep all their memories while they are working on a certain book. You can use it for one book at a time or you can use it for multiple books that you're writing. The point is that you have a place. It's a companion to the novel that you're writing or the book that you're writing. You do so by keeping your memories in there. You can keep your word count. You can write chapter notes. You can keep notes. The book has so many things for you to keep track of the novel that you're writing or the book that you're writing that I think it's really, really beneficial for you, especially right now if you are embarking on NaNoWriMo. So the journal starts off with preparing you for mindful writing. And what I mean by that is that it's just going to get your thinking in the right space. For example, if you're feeling bad about your writing or if you're not feeling confident that day, it is probably not the best time to write. However, if you return to your journal and for the first time, if you write all the things that I'm asking you here, or if you go back and read all the things that you've already written because you've done the job, then you're probably going to set yourself up for a great place to start writing. For example, one of the first pages is preparing for mindful writing. And then I go on to ask you three of my best qualities are for me, I put that I am hopeful, I am kind, and I am caring. Next thing is three things that make me really happy are my family, personal development, and creating. So these are just questions and prompts that I set forth for you guys so that you can start feeling in a happy place before you get to writing. So the section that I'm working on right now is the preparing for mindful writing. I had already answered a lot of the questions, but I hadn't gone in and scrapped booked it <laughs> so I went back in and I added a bunch of stickers and colors and just added more thoughts to the questions that I had originally answered and what I love about the journal is I did make it nice enough for you guys to be attracted to it and love it but I also made it to where you can personalize it just like I'm doing it here 
So the way I use the journal is for one book at a time. For example, this is for my nonfiction. So everything in the book journal right now is related to my nonfiction, how I felt about the book, how it all started, my rituals and routines while starting this book. These are all questions that I ask in the book. For example, um, it says my favorite music to listen to while writing this book is and for this particular book, I put none because I don't really, I didn't really listen to any, um, any music while writing this book because it was a nonfiction. Now, when I was completing this book companion journal for my fiction, it looked a lot differently, but you can use it for multiple books. For example, there's another person that bought the book that she did a whole video and her name is Heather and I will link her video below on how she used the companion and she used three, the companion for three books that she was writing and I think it's beautiful the way she did it and I want you guys to check it out so you can have an even bigger picture, a different view on how to use the companion. Let me know in the comments below if you guys love scrapbooking as much as I do. I should do it more often than I actually do it. Um, I don't know what it is. It just, when I am done, while I'm doing it, I'm really happy. But when I am done and I can just go over the book and see what I created, it just makes me so happy. And you guys, I am not crafty whatsoever. I see some of these people on YouTube and they do their uh journaling and they are art they are artists and they draw so nice and i'm just not that person i wish i could draw but i can't but either way i still love it and let me know if you are similar to me if you like scrapbooking i wanted to let you know that if you go to my instagram account i have a video in my highlights and igtv that shows an inside look at all the pages that are in the journal. So if you wanna look at what's inside the journal before you get your copy, then I would love for you guys to go check it out over there. The section that I'm working on right now is the creating rituals and routines and some of the prompts here are one ritual that will help me stick to my goal is and for me that is writing in the morning the next thing I, I ask you is my favorite time to write is I also wrote in the morning my favorite place to write is I wrote in the office and my favorite scent is vanilla and what I love about the journal like I've mentioned before these are just some of the questions, by the way, not all of them. And some of the, the reason I love the journal so much is because if you compare it to book from, from book to book, you will see how different your mood is from book to book. And I think it's a great place to hold all your memories. Cause for example, if you're writing a book, let's say for NaNoWriMo this year, and you were really, really successful. Now you have this book companion journal to see what it was that you did to be successful. You can always return to that time in your life by grabbing the book companion journal and see all the things that you did. How did you feel? What were your rituals? What did you do to get through this book? But best of all, you will have a book companion to your novel from the very start to your finish. So for example, you will start this companion journal while you are writing the first draft during NaNoWriMo. You can use this book all the way through publication and what an amazing memory that is for you. What an amazing scrapbook it is for you, for you to be able to say, look, I wrote this book during NaNoWriMo in 2020 and here we are maybe a full year later or two years later and you've been tracking every single thing that you have done with that novel in one place. In my opinion, that's what makes the Book Companion Journal so special. So now we're into the creating goals and a plan. You probably, if you've been watching me for any amount of time, you know that I'm all about setting goals and plan. I don't think you can get very far without actually having a plan of action. And I was really happy to see that I set a goal for myself to finish the second draft by, this is here 9-31-2020, but I'm pretty sure I meant 9-30, which I did finish it by that time. I sent it to my editor on 10-10. She is currently reviewing it, so I will have it back soon and I will let you guys know all the information about this nonfiction but anyway 
One of the questions that I ask myself here, one of the prompts is one phrase I can repeat to help me stick to my goal is, and I answered, this book is needed. And that is something that I did keep repeating to myself while writing my, my nonfiction. And I don't know, I think that when you take the time to answer these prompts, you're really going to find that it really does help you get to that finish line. And now I'm moving on to the capture the memories section of the book companion journal. And what I did here is I usually, you know, because I do document a lot of my writing on Instagram, I went ahead and went on Instagram and printed out some of the pictures that I had posted on there regarding to this book. And I pasted them in the journal so that I obviously have all my memories in the journal and I just added a few notes and a few stickers and a bunch of different things that will just inspire me when I come back to the journal years from now. This section is actually one of my favorites because it is very similar to scrapbooking. You just get a bunch of pictures and stickers and you have a big space to just add and create and just capture all your memories in one space. So I love this section, especially when it's all done. Gold, you guys. Gold. I love it. So now I'm going to be quiet for a little while and let you guys enjoy my scrapbooking and just try to capture the full essence of my book companion journal. So I really love this page because it just reminds me that I did it. I wrote another book. I got it to the editor and soon we'll be on to publishing. All right, you guys, I want to wish you good luck this year in NaNoWriMo. I hope that you finish your first draft, your 50,000 words, and that you win NaNoWriMo. Here's the final look for the journal. If it's something that you guys want to check out, then I will leave the link to Amazon in the description box below for you guys to grab your copy. Again, I wish you lots of luck this year on NaNoWriMo. I'll see you guys again in a brand new video in a few days. Until then, stay safe.